With more than 50 percent of U.S. adults now vaccinated, President Joe Biden is turning his focus to the origins of COVID-19. He's given his team 90 days to investigate how and where the virus first emerged. Perhaps most controversially, the report will look at whether the virus was leaked from this Chinese lab in Wuhan. China needed to provide more access to the lab, uh, cooperate more fully with the scientific investigators, and uh, we don't think that they have met that standard. Once dismissed as a conspiracy theory, now leading scientists say the possibility of a lab leak should not be ignored. We're hearing about people who work at the Wuhan Institute of Virology becoming sick with an illness. We know that this has been spreading since November. We've seen the Chinese government been very uh, reticent to allow press to investigate the origins of this virus. We know that Wall Street Journal reporters have been detained by police. We know the BBC has been chased out of certain areas where people are looking for the origin. So I think that raises questions. Back in March, a joint investigation by China and the World Health Organization concluded the probable source of the virus was animal-to-human transmission from a wet market. An accidental lab leak, it said, was highly unlikely. But many governments have criticized the report's credibility. They say access was limited, and the Chinese government withheld data. They argue China's apparent influence on the WHO has tainted the report's validity. China denies the virus leaked from one of its labs, saying its critics are playing politics. China has been very wary of the fact that people have already judged it. Uh, basically, they, they want to have a pretend trial before they have the hanging. Uh, they've been very reticent about allowing, quote, international groups to come in and, in essence, try to twist what they see are the, the factual side of this thing. The Biden administration says knowing the origins of COVID-19 is a matter of global health, a way to stop another pandemic in the future. But the report could have far-reaching consequences that go beyond the health sector. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.